home station hotline. Uh, it didn't start me off. Uh, did I say home station? Home safety hotline. It uh started me off at the the beginning of day three, which was the day I failed. Science mysteries. Graphics are just phenomenal. Who made this in 1996? The mystery of mice. I mean, they, this came just a year after. Uh, mice. One Jurassic of humanity's Park. oldest friends and oldest enemies. From the Black Plague to the shelves of our pet stores, mice have lived alongside humans for centuries. And just like humans, Mice may even be evolving alongside us as well. This is a mus musculus, otherwise known as the common house mouse. And this is mus musculus loquentis, otherwise known as the smart mouse, a newly discovered species known for its uniquely colored iris, and more say. importantly, its increased intelligence. Mice have brains smaller than peanuts, and yet, modern science has observed they are capable of thinking quite intelligently. And in the case of the smart mouse, perhaps even capable of communication. With the help of modern computer technology, today's scientists have been able to interpret the previously indecipherable squeaks of a smart mouse, and have discovered what seems to be hidden messages within. Let's take a listen. Okay. I heard it. Yep, that's, that's what I heard. What do you think? Is this a wonder of evolution? Or are we just hearing things that aren't there? No, that's Do mice house. and men have more in common than previously thought? <laughs> well, I suppose that's what makes this a science mystery. Alright, the email. Check in the email. Oh, we got a new office pet. Hello, home safety hotline family. We're excited to introduce to all of you, our brand new office pet, Whiskers. Whiskers is loyal, friendly, and as serious about pest control as we are. Please give Whiskers a warm welcome if you see him wander by your desk. Please note, or note, please refrain from picking up or feeding Whiskers as he's still going, getting to know everyone in the office and has scheduled feeding times. So, Aw, Whiskers, you're so precious. All right. Oh, that's... Hey, I figured that out. That's that's Discord. Oh, excuse me. I shouldn't I shouldn't click buttons. All right, time to clock in. Carol, coming for that job. I've earned that job. I've earned it. Time to clock in. Well, we learned about termites, and we learned about raccoons. You missed it. Our percent went from 60 to 83.33. Home safety hotline. Jeremy speaking. How can I help you? Hello. Supervisor Carol here again. Hi, Carol. I've been watching the closely employee. I'm impressed so far by your dedication to accuracy. I have once again updated your permission so you should have access to more extensive household hazard information. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest upon me. The... Some old English attic gnome. Home safety hotline, Drew Mayer speaking. How can I help you? It's in my bedroom right now. It's watching me. I, I think it wants something from me. It's coming closer and 
Lost one. Did did Gary have our life insurance policy? No. Okay. Terminate. Home um, safety hotline. Jameer speaking. How can I help you? I think the map is something wrong with our faucet. Okay. Recently, I've been having the worst kind of stomach bug. Just aches and pains constantly. But after a month, still hasn't gone away, and I'm thinking there's got to be something wrong with the water, because we only eat fresh, homegrown fruits and vegetables here, and we ain't never had any problems until now. Okay. I keep hearing things about rusted pipes and water poisoning and all kinds of terrible things that can happen to the water, so can you just send someone out to get this fixed for us? All right, Ash, hold on, and I'll see what I can do. Please hold it. Seedling? Whistling fungus. Pipe growth. No. Hopefully he doesn't hang out. I mean, is it as something as basic as frozen pipes? I don't think so. After a month? Ugh. What is this again? Yeah. So you said a stomach bug for about a month. The other part is it could be something with the garden. To watch them sleep. Nice. False beat? I would say it is this. Because he's growing fruits and vegetables. 
they lodge in his stomach. I mean, here's the open. I'm also sorry, you're... That's just the way it is. That's how you'll feel. Okay, those spawn out. And grab you. This is just invisible. Home safety hotline, Jameer speaking. How can I help you? The police told me to call this number. Okay. So I, uh, hope I got the right number here. I hope anyway, you do, ma'am. Anyway, uh, I think, I think somebody is stalking me. I can see their shadow at night at my window, just staring into the house. When I close the window, I can still hear him out there, breathing. I've been sleeping on the couch every night this past week, just oh, so no. he won't see me. The police said they can't do anything, so please, send somebody or do something about this. I can hardly sleep anymore. I'm sorry, Felicia. Let me see what I can do. I believe you have the right number. Please hold. Alright, um... Let's look at a type of gnome, like a night gnome. Doesn't completely sound like it. I don't think it's a hob. Oh no, it's not a heart. I was thinking of Bogart. I mean... I'm gonna say the term I mean quite a lot. Okay. I guess I have it down to two, but it's pretty obvious. I suppose let's go for a night gnome. No, we'll go for a night wisp. Problem is, is do they cast the shadow? Doesn't say it, but night gnomes seem like they live in the house. Yeah, they enter the house. Home safety hotline, Jameer speaking. How can I help you? Yes, I believe there may be some kind of problem with our home ventilation. Okay, Belinda? Lately, we've been hearing awful banging noises coming from the ceiling, and the air quality seems to have been drastically reduced. Oh, no! My daughter hasn't been able to stop coughing. Well, let me see what I can do for you, Belinda. Please hold. Alright, banging, wood, air quality. Attic gnomes have anything to do with this? Probably. Banging. They're, they cause a lot of dust. Yeah. Let's, let's go for an attic room. <sighs> more answers, more problems. It's 
Not that. Home safety hotline, Jumir speaking. How can I help you? Please help me. The police refused to do anything. They told me to call you. Okay, okay. Please say you can help. My, my little boy, Jeremy, has gone missing. He's eight years old and such a sweetheart. The last time I saw him was when I was tucking him into bed last night and checking his messy closet for bees to calm him down. Oh, it's silly, I know, but... My poor Jeremy is always so concerned about bees and wasps okay. and, and stuff. <laughs> I miss him. <laughs> I miss him so much. <laughs> please, please, please say you can help me find him. He's all that I have. All right, May. Us at Home Safety Hotline will do what we can for you. Please hold. Yeah, her boy is dead. Portal? Maybe not. We're looking at something that could steal him. It happened at night. I mean, that kind of seems like the most sense to me. Your son Jeremy, he do be gone. Home Safety Hotline, Jameer speaking. How can I help you? Hello, employee. Supervisor Carol here. We've received complaints that some of the answers that uh, you have been providing have been inaccurate. I urge you to think more carefully on the answers you provide before we are forced to terminate. You've been warned. All right. Thank you, Carol. Home safety hotline, Jameer speaking out. Can I help you? Hi. I'm concerned, somewhat, about the stability of my new home. I recently finalized the purchase and naturally afterwards found that there are several large cracks in the walls of the basement that were not previously disclosed, as well as several pieces of half-eaten cheese littered across the basement <laughs> floor. Large I cracks in the walls. I contact with the previous owners about cheese. this, and I'm wondering if you can offer any kind of legal advice. All right, Leo, please hold. Please hold. I do not know the beat of this song. Cellar gross. Cellar Grotto? No. No. Hey, is it just mice? Mm. 
I wouldn't think this. And Cellar Girls doesn't really make sense. Oh, it says walls, not ceiling. You know, I I thought this job was easy. I thought this was a piece of cake. I was wrong. I was wrong. Carpenter has really makes sense. Not floor roots. I'm getting fired. I'm I'm letting my clients down. I'm letting home safety hotline down. This is just not working for me. Providing the best care. Home safety hotline, Jameer speaking. How can I help you? Tom Rumor here. I need to place an order of 60 gallons of orange drink. Here. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I sir. We, we don't, and we're we don't gonna do need that. that to, uh, too many mouths to feed, you know what I mean? And I need that orange drink to feed my brood. I'm sorry, sir, we don't, we don't, we don't carry orange drink. Cheesy greaser eggs. Too many mouths. Uh, maybe, uh, uh, pepper squeeze. Don't tell me you don't got the pepper no, squeeze. No, no, we, we don't add the pepper squeeze. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Well, although I couldn't help that guy, his his phone call really helped me. Hello, Mr. Home Safety Hotline, Jameer speaking. How can I help you? Hey, so my doctor told me I should call this number. I have no idea why. He won't tell me anything. He said you could help, so here goes nothing, I guess. Um, so I've recently been having just the worst headache okay. and just barely I woke up and felt my eyes were starting to look kind of pink. I'm really freaked out right now and I'm not sure what I have. I can't find anything online. Can you help me? Certainly I'll do my best, Phil. Hold on and I'll get you the resources you need. Please hold. With my track record, Phil's going blind. Yeah, I had him on hold. He didn't, he didn't hear me. Oh, cool, cool. That went out. I don't really know what bed bugs cause. Uh, but I'm pretty sure you have bed bugs. Otherwise, you're dead. There is just, there is a lot of little things. Could it have been a laundry now? Click. Home City Highland, you're here speaking. How can I help you? Oh, 
called it. Don't really know why she called back just to let me know what we already figured. Sad, dangerous world we live in. Home safety hotline, true mirror speaking. How can I help you? You gotta tell me what's going on inside my home, okay? I'm freaking out over here. All right, There's Kyle. holes all over my freaking house, man. Freaking holes! I'm stepping around big wooden splinters. There's no telling how much damage there is. I've got this big gaping one in my kitchen that I have no idea how freaking deep it goes. To top it all off, my skittish little greyhound goblin is nowhere to be found. She probably took off after seeing this mess. I need help. Bad. Please hold. Okay. Just out of curiosity, what does uh, laundry don't do? No. Alright, holes in the walls. Hates dogs. Doesn't say anything. No. Secretions. It's either I would think that it wouldn't leave wood secretion. I'm getting fired. Do I think it's termite snow? But I, I think with wood secretions, there wouldn't be like giant splinters of wood. Home safety hotline, Drew Mir speaking. How can I help you? was garbage. The cracks are getting larger, and now the basement is flooding. Okay. You can tell your supervisor that you were no help whatsoever. I'm taking this into my own hands. I don't advise you to do that, Lee. This is going on my performance report. Home safety hotline, Drew Beer speaking. How can I help you? All right, 
I'm gonna need someone to explain what in the name of Christmas is happening to my living room. I'm back from vacation and the house is already turning into a disaster not 24 hours later. And my living room is absolutely covered in soil and plants. Looks like a gosh darn nursery in there. What is happening? Is, is this what happens when you buy a bad rug or something? Hold on, Jackie. I'll get you the help that you need. Please hold. Ah, okay. All right. I know what this is. Bam. Bam. I'm quality. Yeah. Travel gnomes create. Uh. We create gardens. Home Safety Hotline, Dreamer speaking. How can I help you? Well, I got good news and bad news. Okay, Kyle. Bad news is the info you sent wasn't any help at all, so, uh, thanks for that. Good news is I found Goblin. She freaking came crawling out of that hole with a big bump on her head or something, so I'm taking her to the vet now. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for trying, I guess. Unicorn fungi? Home Safety Hotline, Dreamer speaking. How can I help you? The info. The info you sent. No good. Can't sleep while it's watching me. I can't. I can't. It's... It's still out there. I'm, I'm Little creep. It was not night wisp. It wasn't. Home well, safety hotline, Jameer speaking. How can I help you? There's something. There's something in my basement. I don't know what it is. All I know is when I open my basement door, it smells like a damn sewer, and I can hear it making all kinds of horrible noises. It sounds like there might be a lot of water down there, too. I don't know what it might be doing down there, but I have a feeling it's causing a whole lot of damage. Please, send somebody to help with this. I can't deal with something like this. Alright, Larry, at Home Safety Hotline, we'll give you the resources you need. I'm going to put you on a brief hold. Please hold. I need to work on my script, too. Cellar Grotto. Home Safety Hotline, Jameer speaking. How can I help you? Hello, employee. Supervisor Carol here. We've been watching you for some time, and I must say that we have been rather disappointed in your performance here. Look, Many that's of our John. Lives have been altered that's for the John from Accounting. This is, this is how every video is going to end. I, this might be like something where I like, also, why do I keep transforming into a hog? A mouse? Am I just a smart mouse? That's, that's it. I'm a smart mouse. I'm a smart mouse. And the person telling me they they live in the hole is a I cracked the code. Alright, well. Hopefully next episode we'll get a conclusion. I successfully failed again. Thank you for joining me. 
and I'll hope to see you around. Take care and goodbye.